Good evening, folks. A quick note on the published magnetic field report today out of the U.S. and U.K. It is mostly a technical report, but there are some interesting tidbits, and one in particular I wanted to give its own moment in a video here now. So let's go back to 2021. It was the first time the central, deepest portion of the South Atlantic anomaly rested at the coastline of South America. Before that, it had always been just offshore, in the Atlantic. The South Atlantic anomaly is the weakest point of Earth's magnetic field, and while the global field is in decline as the magnetic poles are shifting, nowhere is dropping more than this zone. Just a few years later, at the start of this year, the central low point in the middle of the continent, a serious shift to the west-northwest. This coincided with the deepening of the weak zone, far beyond what was actually forecast for the period. But now, we can also look to the 2030 prediction and comment there. Here it is. No further westward motion of the deep low, but a further deepening of it. I agree with their forecast of a continuing drop in Earth's magnetic field strength, but not necessarily this positioning. As the South Atlantic anomaly splits, it has already begun to do so, and that should be more evident by this forecast time in 2030. The deepest point should be moving even more north towards the Caribbean. Now, this isn't making any headlines as a technical report, except for in the eyes open world of the observers and the professors who study it, but but it is a critical update. The few mainstream sources I am seeing discuss a core mantle boundary flow that causes this anomaly, and that is factually preposterous. They don't actually have the ability to measure anything like that. They are talking out of their backsides. But since magnetism falls off at distance cubed, the further you move away from a magnet, the weaker its force on something. So think about how the North Magnetic Pole is moving from Canada towards Siberia, away from the South Atlantic Anomaly, and the South Magnetic Pole is moving from Antarctica towards the Indian Ocean again away from the South Atlantic Anomaly. Both magnetic poles are moving away from this location and it's not a coincidence. In fact, it's why the South Atlantic Anomaly exists and it's why it will almost certainly continue to be the weakest point in Earth's magnetic field through the duration of the ongoing magnetic pole shift. So just a quick reminder, I agree with their forecast that the magnetic field is going to continue to decline, but when the next report comes out in 2030, I do expect to see a little bit more of the splitting of the South Atlantic anomaly with the central, deepest, low portion of the weak field region moving a little bit further north. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show, and be safe, everyone.